Hey guys, it's Luke here and welcome back to another video. Now today's video is super, super exciting because it's car collection day. I bought another car. The 140i is gonna have a stable mate. Um, so yeah, it's, it, it's all going on really. Um, now, you guys may already know that I've been hinting for quite a while, quite a few months that I've been really kind of dying to get myself a project car, something cheap, something fun, which I can just play around with uh, and ultimately share videos um, with you guys. And today is that day. A couple of days ago, uh, real time, um, I deposited a car and today I'm going to see it ultimately to buy it and bring it home. So the basic plan is we're doing a bit of a logistical stuff here. Um, so um, myself, my dad and my girlfriend are gonna be jumping in the 140i um, to drive up to the place. I'm going to Essex today, somewhere in North Essex near Colchester to buy this car. Um, and then I'm gonna drive the new car back whilst my dad is gonna drive this. We're gonna have both cars on the road and we can have both cars next to each other straight off the bat as well. So it's gonna be pretty exciting. You can probably tell the smile on my face. Um, I am pretty excited and I hope you guys are too. Now, similar to the 140i reveal video, I'm gonna do a little premiere on this. So if you guys are watching live, then hello, welcome. Thank you very much for tuning in. Uh, those of you who are watching after the premiere, you'll already know what the car is. Uh, but ultimately, I am super excited to hop in the car. I've got about a three hour journey, hopefully without some rush hour traffic on the M25 to see my brand new car. Okay, so we're making a pretty good progress. Surprisingly, we haven't actually been stuck in much traffic, especially on the M25, uh, which is good. And the roads are drying up, um, but yeah, it's uh, all very exciting. We're just about to go into the Dartford Tunnel, so naturally I'm gonna make some noise. Um, but uh, yeah, fingers crossed the traffic situation stays this way uh, and we can reach the new car very soon. Anyway, let's pop this into the pop and bang mode, even though it's not, well, it's factory. Really. Onwards to uh, to Essex. Okay, I may have spoken too soon. We're now down to 40 mile an hour, literally just outside of the Dartford Tunnel. Um, but anyway, I think probably something which is worth me mentioning now before I get a load of comments. Um, this car is not going anywhere. So this, I was about to say the name of it then, um, but this project car, because that's ultimately what it is. Oh, end, okay. We'll back up to normal speed. Um, this project car is gonna be a secondary car for me, which is huge, um, so. That's pretty mad, um, but this car is not going anywhere. This is still kind of a project car with all the stuff that I'm doing to it, and yes, there's still more stuff to come with it, um, but uh, I just fancy, well, this car, like I mentioned in the intro, is significantly cheaper than this, which is good, which makes it easier for me to run, um, as well as this car, um, but I've always wanted one. I, it's weird, like, it's not necessarily the quickest car in the world, the most exciting or the, the rarest, but it's just something which I've always wanted, um, so that's what I've done basically. Chloe's in the back, you might be able to see her awkwardly at the back of the shot. Um, but yeah, we are just over an hour away um, from arriving. So I guess um, I'll just cut all this and uh, I'll catch up with you ultimately when I've got the car. Okay, so a slight, well not change of plan, but it's been a good two hours since the last update. We've gone and collected the car, it's just over there 
uh, to my left at the moment. I've done all the paperwork and everything, transferred the money, it's now mine, and I guess all that's left for me to do now is introduce you to it. Um, now again, I will remind you this is not a replacement to the M140i, it's currently out of shot over there just at the moment. Um, it is my new project car. So without further ado, please say a warm welcome to my 2013 Toyota GT86. So then, welcome to, yes, like I said, my new project car. Now, I don't know why, but there's just something about these things which, I don't know, I just love. I've always wanted to get one, and now given the opportunity to, to go ahead and get a second car, which in itself is mad, and also get a project car, uh, which is something which I've been wanting to do for a long time, is uh, pretty huge. So um, yeah, this is, uh, well, it's the start of another journey. So we've got the M140i as well, which is gonna carry on. We've got more modifications coming for that, but this, it's going to uh, open up a whole uh, lease of life to the channel, should we say, a whole different aspect, um, which I am super excited to bring towards you all. There's a nice AMG GTS in the corner, which Chloe's been having a look. Nice, isn't it? Yeah. Quite nice. Average pub car park find. Um, but yes, let's talk a little bit more about the car. It's finished in Galaxy Blue, which is quite similar to Lapis Blue, um, which is <laughs> quite funny. And yes, another blue car. I didn't intentionally buy another blue car, because obviously you have the M140i in blue as well. Now, a little bit of a story with this car. Um, actually, it's a pretty nice example. Now, I was initially, um, when I was first looking at getting one of these, I was looking at getting one which has had a bit of damage, been crashed, and then rebuilding it. But I just don't have the time for that right now uh, with things which are going on um, outside of the whole YouTube scene. And then I ended up looking at one which was actually an import, but then I realized that to convert that then to UK spec was just it will involve a lot more money uh, and then this one popped up it's a one owner car previous so one previous owner from you 22,000 miles um, and well it looks pretty cool it's pretty immaculate now what I will say is looking at the MOT history this car has covered a grand total of a thousand miles since its last MOT last year now the MOT is coming up fairly soon so I'm gonna get that done that wasn't part of the deal we agreed on that um, but yeah this is literally just been sat around for quite a while as you can see with a large amount of moss and stuff. We'll have a look underneath the bonnet in a second as well. But yeah, once we've given it a good old clean up, it will be, uh, it'll be nice and cool. Right. So to summarize the things in here, it's a lot more dated than the M140i, of course, uh, as you'd expect, but these seats are really, really nice. I don't know if they're the standard seats or if you can get any racier seats, uh, but it's like a cloth Alcantara type thing. And also with the red um, inserts and stitching as well. We've got some tiny rear seats, which I'm using uh, for some camera equipment at the moment. I don't think anyone is gonna fit in there, but would probably make for quite a good road trip car. Um, more of that a little bit later on. We've got a six speed manual. It's a very short throw on this, just kind of going through the gears uh, here. It's very, very short throw. We've got um, keyless go as well. Manual handbrake, got a nice touch screen. This is the upgrade. Um, so it's got sat nav on there, but I use Waze connected to my phone up here as well. Um, but yeah, really, really excited to finally have the keys to one of these things. Anyway, having a look underneath the bonnet quickly. I'll show you, it's very dirty under here actually at the moment. Um, but still, like I said, once a good clean up um, and then it'll be fine. So under here is a two litre, but it has no turbo. So it's a two litre uh, four cylinder boxer engine, uh, which they also use in the Subaru uh, BRZ or BRZ um, as the Americans call it. But um, yeah, very dirty under here. You can tell that it's been sat for a while with all the cobwebs and everything. It's got a new battery on it, so you haven't got to worry about anything like that. Um, but yeah, two litre. Uh, no turbo. I really do want to put a turbo on one of these things because that would make this about 300 horsepower. At the moment, stock, it's running about 200, uh, 205 newton meters of torque, uh, and is of course converted to the rear wheels. So it's a little bit leery. We've got two huge exhausts at the back as well, which uh, actually it sounds pretty good stock. Uh, I've heard it a little bit before getting to this location. Um, but yeah, here it is. The brand new, well, I say brand new, 2013 <laughs> Toyota GT. 86. So with that said, you now have a brief idea of the car and what it's all about. Let's hop on in. Absolutely freezing today. I haven't put my coat on. It's in the back. Um, so that's a bit stupid of me. Anyway, I think 
Shall we have a little drive? Yeah. Yeah, why not? But yeah, I now have another manual car in my life. Uh, the last time I had a manual car was my first car, my Audi A1. Um, good old little car that was. Mm -hmm. um, but the first thing we need to do now is put some fuel in it. So that's what we're going to do. Uh, we'll find a nearest fuel station. Um, but yeah, this is the first drive of the new car, which is all very exciting. It's, it's happened very quickly, this. Um, I've been looking tentatively at these for quite a few months now. Um, but when this car popped up, we called them up. Um, inquired about the car and kind of within the next day or two I put the deposit down and now we're collecting it and driving it home so <laughs> mad how things go but um, yeah it's it's a bit of a shock really I know I know I said that it's it's not the most expensive car or the most powerful car in the world but it's a car which I've always kind of wanted I've always wanted a cheap run around which I can still have fun with um, and make videos on um, and also to keep the miles down on the 140i to be fair as well because um, I'll be doing a lot of miles certainly around Europe this year in that car um, so uh, that's all very exciting um, but yeah I was in the position to kind of look at these and think you know what I, I am in the position to get one I thought why not why the hell not um, so yeah I hope you guys like it <laughs> I obviously I know some of you guys aren't but I couldn't care less M4 I heard that <laughs> you like M4s um, but now we're stuck in traffic which is ideal we kind of escaped it this morning uh, and now we're stuck in it all now you've got to get back used to the manual and uh, now I have a manual yeah yeah Much so better. my dad's gonna be driving the 140i um, we've just kind of taken a little detour to get some fuel and we'll meet up with him a little bit later on uh, and then cruise back but uh first drive in the 86 uh, and well it's in traffic <laughs> but yeah, whilst we are now stuck in what is going to be rush hour um, for a good few hours, why not uh, give you my first impressions of the car? Now, I actually bought it virtually without driving it, um, which is probably a little bit silly, um, but either way, I'm enjoying it, which is good. <laughs> um, the gearbox has a very short throw on it, um, very short throw, which makes it a lot of fun actually, certainly around some country roads, which we're not on right now, annoyingly. Uh, hopefully we will be later on though. Um, and also, I should probably address the elephant in the room, the fact that this is a naturally aspirated 2-litre 4-cylinder. So, it isn't the quickest of things, but that's not why I bought it. Um, it does need a turbo. <laughs> Definitely needs a turbo. Um, but either way, it's super fun. I mean, you can use all the power all the time. With the 140, you have to be really careful. You have to like modulate the throttle. If it's damp or anything, you can use probably a third of the power. Otherwise, you'll be spinning. And otherwise, you terrify me. Yes, I do, yes. <laughs> but looking at the power quickly, you're looking at about 7.5 to 8 seconds, 0 to 60. Um, you can get an auto on these, but manual, it had to be. It's a driver's car, this. Um, so, manual was the only option. I think the, the automatics are quite rare because no one really wants them. Um, but either way, um, yeah, this is it. This is... <laughs> this is crazy. <laughs> Okay, first fill up done. It was virtually empty, the tank. 60 quid on premium and loaded. Not, not bad, <laughs> not too bad. Better than the 140. Yes, significantly better. Um, but anyway, let's hit the road again. And we're off. <laughs> it is a lot of fun though. It really is. I, I need you to drive this. I think you'll quite like it. Mm. I just don't like a manual car. That's true, I mean, yeah. I, I, I daily a manual you, you car, drive a manual. That's, be... that's what makes you not no, like it. No, I don't it. like it, yeah. <laughs> that's a lot of fun. It'll be good to get this on some proper roads, to be fair. Um, but, uh, yeah, first drive is going to be a leisurely one back home. Uh, ow. Ooh, <laughs> With a buckled wheel. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, no, it's, uh, it'll be cool to get both of them together as well. I'm hopefully going to get um, both the 140 and this on camera uh, a little bit later on in the video. That'll be cool. Uh, I'll make them a little blue crew. So as you can see ahead, we are now following the 140i. We have both of my cars, which is mad to say, in a little mini convoy together. Oh, it's broken up already. Nice. But yeah, we're heading home now. We're all fueled up and everything. Uh, it's probably gonna be quite a challenge to keep up with the 140, especially with my dad driving. It's the first time we've driven it, so he's probably gonna be having quite a lot of fun. Um, but uh, yeah, that car actually looks amazing on the road, to be fair. <laughs> um, looking so low and squat and amazing with those new wheels on it as well. Um, so that's cool to see on the road for the first time as well. Um, but yeah, it's been one hell of a day. 
Uh, I'm sorry that this video has probably been a little bit all over the place. We've had um, it's been a bit of a logistical nightmare actually um, to, to do this, but uh, I wanted to get both the cars together um, on the collection day of this because uh, it's kind of cool. But um, anyway, I think I'm going to wrap things up for today's video. Um, once again, if you've tuned in to the premiere, then thank you very much. Um, and uh, other than that, I hope you guys do actually like my choice of car. But at the end of the day, if you don't, um, then that's fine. Uh, it's, it's, it's not. It's not illegal to disagree with someone. But um, don't be mean. But don't, yeah, don't be mean. Don't <laughs> I'm kidding. Be mean. <laughs> uh, but anyway, that's going to wrap things up for today's video. I hope you guys have enjoyed. If you have, please do make sure you leave a like and make sure you subscribe. All the adventures still to come.